my dream for a really long time to get into the modeling world. But I couldn't imagine anything better than this. Considering how many beautiful, gorgeous girls there were, and they've obviously seen something in me to put me through. It's amazing. I'm really looking forward to the photo shoots and meeting fascinating people. And I'm hoping to impress judges enough so that they can see the potential in me. I will try to work out every day, you know, bring it on on every shoot. I was absolutely flabbergasted when they just called my name. I thought it was anyone's game at that stage and I was kind of like, oh my god, to be called forward 5th or 6th, I was just so happy. You don't think, like when you're first auditioning, that you're going to be able to go into the house and <laughs> be this close to being um, the last ones here, but it just literally feels amazing right now. I pitched about three ideas and the one that was chosen was based on the look of a contact sheet. The aim was to make the shots of the girls look as if they were backlit by a giant light box. To emphasise this, we dressed the girls in slightly transparent dresses and filmed them against a white backdrop. Set, like really, really photographic, high fashion set. So different to the other ones that you've seen me on. And I've been sat there on my table at the computer, casting an eye over everything. Because oddly, when things are minimal, they've all got to be perfect. So perfect floor design, perfect amounts of this, perfect amounts of that. It's not been difficult, actually. It's been really nice, nicely organised. Everything's just... There's not been another Indian British X model. I'll be the first one. So <laughs> hopefully that will help me to win it. I've wanted this for so long. I don't know all the other girls' it's a story. It's quite different, but I come from a French background, so I lack like fashion and art. I'm not really scared of much doing shoots, so they can just bring in the pain and I'm ready for it. When I get in front of the camera, I go into mod mode, and it's very precise, very quick. I like to get things done correctly and properly. That's probably part of my personality. I'm a little bit impatient, but I feel that I want to get things done correctly and perfectly, so a little bit OCD. My motives for coming on the show are a bit different from most girls. I would like to do this not just for myself, but for a lot of the people that I know, and I kind of want to go on to do a lot of things through modelling. And it's my opportunity to help a lot of people. I'm pretty open-minded about most things, and I've got two pet snakes. So if they put snakes in me, I'd just be like, oh, I miss my own. <laughs> and bugs don't creep me out. I actually had a pet paying mantis once. So I actually still can't believe that I'm going into the model house. It's crazy, but it's, it's exciting. I can't wait. But it's a massive confidence boost for me because my confidence is something that I need to work on. I believe I have a chance to win this. I think I have the sheer determination and a fire, a hunger that will see me through. I'm just feeling really, really grateful and blessed to be here. And I'm just so happy. <laughs> the competition's actually begun now, because up until now it's just been like the boot camp stages and to actually be here in Final 14, now it all feels real. And the competition is on.